The idea for the construction of the church house began to take shape in the early 1970s and for years the Anglican church worked hard to realize this dream. The building was officially opened today. Prime Minister Dr. Ruhakana Rugunda presided at the event. The building has been named after the late Janan Luwum, who was the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda between 1974 and 1977 when he was killed. Archbishop Stanley Intagali was grateful to the government and the church's partners for the concerted effort that has enabled the dream to come true. It has taken us over 40 years to complete the building of Church House, but the time has also not been easy. I cannot at this juncture forget to thank Watoto Church, who surprised me and generously donated 100 million Uganda shillings to our Church House. I think the message to the House of Bishops is that this dream can be replicated in all the diocese. But, um... Dr. Ruhakana Rugunda delivered the president's message in which government expressed its commitment to support the private sector. He also appreciated the church for its partnership with the government in bringing about economic transformation. The government of Uganda is at the forefront to support investment ventures of this kind. We are advocated for the private sector-led growth and we have been able to offer a secure environment to enable these ventures to thrive. And it was interesting to hear His Grace the Archbishop talking of the Watoto Church, contributing 100 million uh, shillings to Church House. This is really very, very good indeed. According to Canon Joram Kahenano of the Church Commissioners Holding Company, which spearheaded the construction of the building, more than 50 billion shillings was spent on the project. The beginning was that equity put in 70% of the cost as a loan and the Christians put in 30%. But as we repay the loan, the percentage of the church increases. Sabiti Bagene, a director of Bagene and Company Limited, the letting agent managing the Janan Luwum Church House gave NTV a picture of the annual income expected to be generated from the project. We secure tenants who can earn the cash flow that is being targeted, which is about $1.5 million a year. Construction of the project began in 2010 and in June this year, the Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Stanley Ntagali, received a completed house. Amen.